The threat of severe weather for many in the Mid-South means a trip to the store to stock up on essentials. I want to make sure I have candles. I want to make sure I have batteries. I want to make sure I want to have flashlights. From Wednesday night to Thursday morning, WREG weather experts say there's a chance for not only severe storms, but large hail, damaging winds and tornadoes. A forecast that has officials prepping across the region. We're making all the uh, connections with our first responder agencies first to make sure that our law enforcement, fire, EMS, uh, our road departments, you know, which help clear roads. Uh, all of those are notified of what's coming on. Chris Olson is the director of emergency services for DeSoto County. He says dangling tree limbs and branches left over from the recent ice storm along with an already saturated ground is dangerous. When the winds pick up and start blowing, there's a chance it could dislodge those limbs. When they fall, they could be a hazard to pelts on the ground. We've had a lot of rain here lately, so the root systems are kind of weak. So with high winds, there's a chance that they could fall over as well. In Memphis, the city releasing this statement saying in part, city crews have prepared for weather by inspecting and clearing storm drains, inlets, and checking other essential areas to help minimize the potential for street flooding. Regardless of your zip code, folks say with storms hitting the Mid-South, it's always best to be weather aware. And pay attention to the weather uh, that, um, that I see on TV and if I need to get to a, a safe room in my house, the bathroom and um, around, away from any windows and uh, make sure that me and my family are safe.